This is early in the ride at the canal bridge. I'm looking down river from the canal bridge here, the Chain Rocks Canal Bridge over the uh, Mississippi River Diversion Canal. There I'm looking up river to the I-270 bridge. Now I had a flat tire right after that. I did make it downtown though, and there's my friend Bob outside of Hot Shots Bar. There's Hot Shots from the outside, their patio area. Here's another view of Hot Shots. They're serving ice cold shots at Hot Shots, as the sign says. Here's my favorite intersection downtown. This is 4th and Washington, where my favorite bar is. My home bar. To be an Irish bar. Fly one. Here I am on Leonore K. Sullivan Boulevard at Carr Street. The flood panels are up here. Same thing, Leonore K. Sullivan. Here's the Sculpture Park at the trailhead. And the Laclede Power Building, Laclede Power Building also at the trailhead. Here's a structure that a guy built. He's living here along the river. That's his home, you see. Here is Hopeville, USA. These people are living here. They're living in tents, donated by, <coughs> excuse me, uh, Reverend Larry Rice of the New Life Evangelistic Center. A little farther up river, there's a scrap iron or a scrap metal yard where they grind up cars and things. There's a chemical yard. Ferrous oxide and ferric oxide are stored there. Some distant church spires over an industrial area. The Merchant's Bridge. A couple of parked locomotives on the Merchant's Bridge pulling a long train. We'll see a video of it here. There I am, just downriver from the Merchant's Bridge. There's the bridge, locomotives, and the long train that they're pulling from uh, Illinois to Missouri. But they're parked here for some reason. Never seen that before. The train stalled on the bridge. Now back on our way home, a little farther upriver, there's the McKinley Bridge. A little farther upriver, there's a, a jail, a prison, I don't know what one, it's in St. Louis City. This is a salvage yard, an auto salvage yard uh, along Hall Street. A lot of junk cars stacked up. Maybe one of my old cars is in there, I don't know. Farther upriver along the trail, I encountered some geese. Here are the geese. And a little farther, this is Moline Creek, where it passes under the rail bridge right next to the trail. And this was under a couple of feet of water four days ago. There's still a bunch of debris and mud, on, well not mud, but dried dirt on the trail. I, I moved forward a little bit here and I lost control of my camera. I almost dropped it, but I got it. There's some flowers. See that? Some beautiful flowers somebody planted there along the creek. Dry as a bone on the trail. That's good to see. There's the, the old Motel and Cafe in Granite City. I'm on my way home now. Now I've made it back to the parking lot in Hartford. Getting ready to put uh, my bike back in the car. And there it is. Back in the car. And that's the end of the ride.